Creating a habitat for a lizard in your garden or maybe a garden at school is a great way to protect and encourage lizards in your environment. So the lizards come and they look after your garden as well. They love eating the pests that people don't want in their garden, things like snails and slugs. Now I've chosen this garden at Thalgara to create a lizard lounge in because it already has a lot of the things that lizards really like. It gets a lot of the sun throughout the day and it's a really nice warm spot and lizards love being warm. Because lizards are cold blooded, they are only warm when the space around them is warm and they can find lots of warm spots in this garden. This garden already has a lot of low growing plants as well like these native grasses. And the native grasses provide great sheltering spots for lizards if there's predators around like birds or even stray cats. I've actually already seen some lizards hanging around this garden, so adding a few extra things, like I've brought it here in the wheelbarrow, will make it even a better spot. So let's get started. So already along the edge of this garden, there's this block of concrete. It acts as a nice warm spot for lizards to get. There's also one big rock in the garden, but what I'm going to do is add some extra rocks. Extra rocks, extra warmth, and also the gaps between the rocks. The lizards can get into those. The other good thing about rocks is they're, they're nice and rough on their side. So when the lizards are shedding their skin, they can rub up against those rocks and help get rid of that old skin. Another thing that lizards need is food. Now I'm not going to bring out food for them and put it in a bowl. I need to find their own food. What I'm going to do is add some things that will encourage food to come to them. I'm going to put some things in there that the insects will like, and the insects will become the food for the lizards. This garden has some mulch, but we're going to put a little bit of extra mulch in. This mulch not only attracts things like cockroaches and other, other insects, but it also acts like a bit of a blanket and keeps the lizards warm. The lizards can burrow in there and find a warm spot on a cold day. Now lizards don't only eat insects, they also eat berries and things as well. There's not many plants in this garden at the moment that have berries, so probably in my next trip to the garden centre, I might buy a Dianella plant. Dianella plants have little purple berries that lizards really like to eat. The low growing plants and grasses that are in the garden already will provide some good sheltering spots for the lizards. But I know a garden, a small garden in Armadale, that's got a resident blue tongue, and that blue tongue lizard lives in under some roof tiles, some old roof tiles that have been thrown away into the garden. So I found some roof tiles at my place, so I thought if that's good enough for that blue tongue, maybe we can attract a blue tongue to Thalgara's garden by putting in a roof tile habitat. Here we go. The roof tiles up off the ground and give the lizards a spot to get under them. I also went out into the wood heap and I found a big chunk, some nice thick curly bark that uh, could also act as a nice little cave for the lizards. So we'll pop that in. And look at this one I found in the wood heap. Oh, it's a hollow branch and the lizards can get right down inside it. Lizards also need water. They don't drink a lot of water, but they do need some water. So I've got a nice little heavy bowl that I found at the garden shop. I'll grab that. Go to put some rocks in the bowl because I don't want the small lizards to fall in here and drown so these rocks will be able to act as a ramp and the small lizards will be able to get in close to the water and then back out again. I'll just pop a bit of water into the water bowl and then we will be all done. So our lizard lounge in the garden here includes all the things that lizards need. It's got things to attract food. It's got water. It's got shelter, a few different sheltering spots, and it's got warmth. And they're the four things that lizards need. Why don't you have a go at building this at your place? <laughs>